This is our God always, now and every day, to be good. Amen. Glory to me, our God. Glory to thee. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of truth, our everywhere present, and fill us all things. Treasure your blessings and the giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, the holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, the holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, the holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and I never and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins, master and pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit the our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever to be to the ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before him. Bless the Lord, O my
Diaconate Christ from the clergy of the people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the President of our country, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this holy mass and habitation for every monastery, city, and country, and for the faithful who dwell in let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For seasonable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and for the salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we may be the to all that you have made the necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, and us, and keep us alive by thy grace. For memory, our most holy, most pure, most blessed, who are slain, they are filled with the glory of the Lord, together with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves to one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. For unto the earth you all glory, honor, and worship. To the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever in the age of ages. Amen. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the
first you of Gabriel, as a second light reflecting things divine, illumining the whole creation, and revealing to us the divine mystery hidden from before the ages, the bodiless one made flesh in a
is come, the Lord reigns, he is clothed in majesty. The Lord reigns, he is clothed in majesty. The Lord is clothed with strength and has girded himself. The Lord reigns, he is clothed in majesty. For he has established a world which shall not be moved. The Lord reigns, he is clothed in majesty. Holy to speak as thy house, O Lord, unto my face. The Lord reigns, he is clothed in majesty. The Lord reigns, he is clothed in majesty. Wisdom, the reading is from Joshua. Let us be attentive. Wisdom. The readings from the judges of Israel. Let us be attentive. The hand of Midian grew strong against Israel, and the sons of Israel made for themselves holes in the hills, caves, and hanging things away from the face of Midian. So the sons of Israel called to the Lord from the face of the Midianites. The angel of the Lord came, and he sat under the tabernacle which is in Ophrah, in the land of Joash, father of Esri. His son Gideon was eating out grain in a wine press to escape from the face of Midian. And the angel of the Lord was seen by him and said to him, The Lord is with you, mighty one of power. And Gideon said to him, Indeed, my Lord, but if the Lord is with us, why have these troubles found us? And where are all his wonders that our fathers duly told us, saying, did not the Lord lead us up out of Egypt, and now he has cast us out, and he has given us into the land of Midian? Then the angel of the Lord turned to him and said, Go in this strength of yours, and you shall save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Look, I have sent you. And Gideon said to him, In me, my Lord, but what shall I save Israel? Look, my thousand is weak in Manasseh, and I am the insignificant one in the house of my father. So the angel of the Lord said to him, The Lord shall be with you, and you shall strike the Midianites like one man. Gideon said to him, If then I have found mercy in your eye, and you do for me today all that you have said to me, do not depart from here until my coming to you. I will bring forth a sacrifice and put it before your face. And he said to him, I am, I will sit until your return. Then Gideon went in and prepared a kid of the goats and an ephah of unleavened flour. And he put the meat in the basket and he placed the broth in the pot and he carried them out to him under the tavern when he came near. Then the angel of God said to him, Take the meat and the unleavened bread and put them against that broth and pour out the broth nearby. And he did thus. The angel of the Lord then stretched out the end of the rod that was in his hand, and ignited the meat and the unleavened cakes. And fire went up from the rock and consumed the meat and the unleavened bread. So the angel of the Lord went from his eyes. Then Gideon saw that this was the angel of the Lord. And Gideon said, Ah, ah, my Lord, O oh Lord, for I saw the angel of the Lord face to face. And the Lord said to him, Peace to you. Do not fear, you shall not die. And Gideon built an altar there for the Lord and called it Peace of the Lord, its name until this day. Wisdom. The reading is from Isaiah. Let us be attentive. The whole earth is at rest and quiet. They break forth into singing. <coughs> the cypress trees rejoice over you, and the cedars of Lebanon sing. 
Since she woke at dawn, no woodsman has come up against us. Hell from beneath is excited about you. They meet you at your coming. It stirs up the dead for you. All the chief ones of the earth, it has raised up from, the dead, from their thrones all kings of the nations. They all shall speak and say to you, Have you also become as weak as we? Have you also have you become like us? Your camp is brought down to to show, show and the sound of your stir, uh, strings, stringed instruments. The maggot is spread under you, and worms cover you. How you are fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning! How you are cut down to the ground, you who weaken the nations! For you have said in your heart, I will also I will ascend into heaven, and I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will also sit on the mount of the con congregation on the farther sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Yet you shall be brought down to Sheol, to the lowest depths of the pit. Those who see you will gaze at you and consider you, saying, Is this the man who made the earth tremble, who shook kingdoms, who made the world as a wilderness, as the wilderness, and destroyed its sites, cities, who did not open the house of the pri of his prisoners, all the kings of the nations, all of them sleep in glory, everyone in his own house. But you are cast out of your grave like an abominable branch, like the garment of those who are slain, thrust through with a sword, to go down to the stones of the pit, like a corpse trodden underfoot. You will not be joined with them in burial, because you have destroyed your land and slain your people. The good of the of evil doers shall never be made.
that this holy name may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. For the angel of peace, the faithful God, who guard your souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. For the pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. For everything that is good and proper for our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask of the Lord. Let us ask the Lord. For a Christian in each one life, famous, blameless, and peaceful, and the good defense before the judge of the seat of Christ, let us ask the Lord. O member of your most holy, most pure, most blessed voice, lady Theotokos, the Virgin Mary, together with all the saints, let's join ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. For you are a good God and the lover of your time, and indeed we send the glory to the Father and to the Son and Holy Spirit, now and every age of ages. Peace be to all. Bow your heads to the Lord. O Lord our God, who just bow the heavens and come down to the salvation of your race, look down upon your servants and your inheritance. For to you, the joint judge, we love humankind. Have your servants bowed their heads as soon as you cry their necks, awaiting not help from men, but your mercy, in expectation of your salvation. Whom you protect at all times, both during the present evening and in the approaching night, from every adverse action of the devil, from vain thoughts, evil imaginations. Blessed and most glorified be the majesty of your kingdom, of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. You 
of the Archangel Michael and the other bodyless powers, Archangels Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel, Salafia, Yehudiel, and Barakiel, and the Synopsis of the Holy and Mercenary Saints, of the Holy and Righteous Hands of God, Joachim, and Anna, and of all the saints, have very soon to save us, for he is good and the lover of human kind. Through the prayers of the Holy Father, we express our God, have mercy upon us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us, for lay aside all excuse. We sin and talk of his to our master, his supplication and mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and Holy Spirit. O Lord, have mercy on us, for in thee we put our trust. Do not be angry with us, nor remember our iniquities, for the gathered us even now, as thou art compassionate, and deliver us from our enemies, for thou art our God, and we are thy people. We are all the work of thy hands, and we call on thy name, now and ever, and to the age of ages. Amen. O oh, blessed there is all for us, open the doors of compassion to us, whose hope is in thee, that we may not perish, but we deliver from adversities with thee, for thou art the salvation of Christian people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O oh, God, our Savior, who by the prophet David did grant the remission of his sins to repent of David, and didst accept the printed prayer of Manasseh. Do yourself and your customary love for humankind accept these your servants who repent of the sins they have committed, overlooking all that they have done, forgiving their unrighteousness, and passing by their transgressions. For you, O Lord, have said, I do not desire the death of a sinner, but that he turn from his way and live, and that sin shall not be forgiven, shall be forgiven even to seventy times seven. For as your majesty is incomparable, so is your mercy immeasurable. For if you should mark iniquities, who should stand? For you are the God of those who repent, and to you we send up glory to the Father and His Holy Spirit, now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Master and Lord, lover of humankind, hearken to us who are entreating your grace for these your servants, and as great and merciful one over the Father transgressions, and deliver them from eternal torment. For you have said, O Master, whatsoever shall bind in earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever shall loose in earth be loosed in heaven. For you only are without sin, and to you do we send up glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Behold, children, Christ invisibly stands here to hear your confession. Be not ashamed, neither be afraid, nor hide any from me. Rather, fear not to tell me all that you have done, since you have received forgiveness from our Lord Jesus Christ. Behold, his eye comes before us, and I am only the witness, that I am a great witness before him, while you tell me. If you hide any from you shall have the greater sin. Take heed, therefore, that having come to the place of position, do not depart unhealed. And now, to the best of your ability, search your hearts, your souls, your minds, your consciences, for anything you may have done that's displeased the Savior, anything you may have done that's grieved the Holy Spirit, or saddened your guardian angel, your patron saint. Be sorry for these shortcomings and failings. Be sorry also for things left undone that could have been done for the glory of God. For the sake of showing Christ's love and compassion this world toward others. Be sorry also for episodes of anger, any resentment, remembering wrongs, holding grudges. Remember that the Apostle wrote that we should not let the sun set upon our anger. Remember that we must always strive to be the best Christians we can possibly be and to ask God's mercy for our failings. Concerning all these things, you are bound henceforth to take care, since according to the Christian mystery of repentance, you are to be baptized in the second baptism. And God helping you, you must make a good beginning and a new fresh start. And above all, you must not take these things lightly or return to the same things, lest you become a cause of scorn to men. 
This is not becoming Christians, but the bond of the righteously devoutly. And may God help you by his grace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Lord, God of salvation, your servants who are merciful, compassionate, long suffering, who repent concerning our evil deeds, who do not desire the death of a sinner, but that he should turn from his way and live. Be yourself now be merciful to your servants, and grant them an image of repentance, pardon and remission of sins, forgiving them every transgression, whether committed voluntarily or involuntarily. Reconcile and unite them to your holy church. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, with whom is due to your power and majesty, now and ever into the age of ages. Amen. May our Lord and God, Jesus Christ, by the grace and compassion of his love for humankind, forgive you, my children, all your transgressions, and I, as an unworthy priest, through his power given to me, forgive you and absolve you from all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.